Netherworld News. Rebel soldiers have taken control of the airport in one of the Democratic Republic of Congo's biggest cities. The rebels advanced into the eastern city of Goma after weeks of intense fighting. Let's get the latest now from Al Jazeera's Nazanin Musheri, who is in the east of the DRC. Uh, Nazanin, uh, we're hearing there have been more advances by the M23. What's the latest and how significant is this? Sorry, you All speaking? Right. Nazanin, can, can you hear me? Nazanin? Yeah, Nazanin Musheri, can you, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Just bring us up to speed, Nazanin, with the latest there as yes, far as I the situation uh, in Goma. What's the latest? Okay, well, just about five minutes ago, M23 rebels uh, walked through the streets of Goma, uh, completely uh, able to do that without anyone uh, stopping them. Uh, they were able to walk all the way to the border as well. There was no gunfire. It was done very peacefully. Uh, they have now walked back. They are in the center of Goma right now. They have taken over the airport. All of the uh, Congolese army people that we've seen in this area have gone. Uh, it is very quiet now in the city, pretty dead. Uh, we have heard United Nations helicopters up above. There have been UN tanks as well around the city, but they are very much taking a back step in this. They do not want to fight a war. Hmm. Their peacekeepers are here to protect civilians. And tens of thousands civilian, of civilians have left this area and have headed to South Kivu. Uh, that's not too far from here, uh, but a safer point. They've left the displaced camps in and around Goma. So a significant development then, Nazanin, from, from what you're telling me, that the, the fact that the M23 rebels have entered Goma. Just explain to our viewers the significance of Goma uh, in the east of the DRC and how important a development is this, the fact that the M23 have now entered the city. Well, Goma is the provincial capital uh, of, of this area. There are more than a million people here. It's an eco economic heartland. This is where all the natural resources are brought in. Uh, this is where they are exported from. The United Nations has an operation here, more than 6,000 peacekeepers. It is extremely important, not only to this whole area of eastern Congo, all, but also to Kinshasa, uh, to control this area. That is why they have been unwilling to negotiate with the Rebels M23. The Rebels M23, their, their point of view is, let's sit down and have direct talks with the government. The government is unwilling to do so. The government blames Rwanda in all of this. It says that Rwanda is funding and arming the rebels, and it says it's better off talking to Rwanda rather than the rebels. Uh, tell us about uh, the situation as far as the civilians are concerned uh, in Goma. We're looking at these uh, uh, latest pictures there coming from Goma, and we see that there still seems to be people inside the city. Are people fleeing at all? Are they, uh, are they worried about the days to come? What's the mood like in Goma? Uh, well, I can tell you those, those, those pictures must be from early in the day because uh, the city is, is, is completely empty now. A lot of the people who could get out did get out walking uh, with all their possessions. Um, a lot of them were already displaced, living in camps just outside Goma, housing up to 60,000 people displaced from previous conflicts. Now, they've left those camps. Those camps are completely empty, according to Doctors Without Borders and also uh, Oxfam. And they've left. They're heading southwards, either towards uh, Rwanda, crossing the border here, and we've seen hundreds doing that, or towards South Kivu. Uh, but all of the new agencies that we've spoken to, all of the NGOs, the international NGOs operating here, so they say they need help desperately. Uh, sanitation is an issue, cholera, water, food, all of these things need to be provided for these people who have been displaced. Okay, Nazanin, thank you very much indeed.